the Sisters of St. Francis Legacy begins when Maria Anna Boll Bachmann, an immigrant from Germany, opens her home in Philadelphia to immigrant women. Committed to helping the poor and sick, Maria Anna seeks advice from Bishop John Newman about forming a congregation devoted to serving the Lord through corporal acts of mercy. In 1855, with Bishop Newman's acceptance, the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia is founded. Maria Anna, recognized as the spiritual leader, is called Mother Francis. In the 1950s, the Archdiocese of Philadelphia purchases a 73-acre horse farm in rural Bucks County, a bucolic property known as Buena Vista. In 1966, the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia respond to a study that indicates the need for a hospital in the rapidly growing community of Lower Bucks County. Sister M. Clarence Naughton, now known as Sister Claire Naughton, becomes the first administrator of St. Mary Hospital, Langhorne. To locate a brand new hospital where a hospital didn't exist before and to try to um, evaluate the needs of the community, it was just very exciting. And uh, we, we wouldn't even have broken ground if we didn't feel that there was a great acceptance on the part of the community. And they not only accepted, but they, they supported us uh, in every way they possibly could. The new St. Mary Hospital opens its doors in 1973, when Sister Clarence is transferred from St. Mary in 1977, Sister Suzanne Marie Evans carries forth the vision, turning the hospital into a regional medical center. In 1982, Sister Claire Carty becomes president and CEO of the hospital. So we really began to shift from a sick model, acute care model, to a holistic one. And there's a very wonderful spirit of giving among doctors, nurses, direct caregivers of all sorts, as well as our pastoral ministry. In 1999, Sister Claire Carty, who guided St. Mary for 17 years, steps down as president and CEO, and Greg Wozniak becomes the first layperson to hold the position. We often say, and the sisters will say this too, we're a reflection of our community. And as our community has grown, and with the age of our community, the services they require, require St. Mary. And when we look at our mission, we make sure that's built upon what the community needs. Uh, not what we need, but what the community needs. Expanding on excellence. Your Health, Your Hospital Capital Campaign raised $10 million for St. Mary. The new emergency department has 18 new patient care rooms and two new trauma bays the new ambulance entrance gives direct access to the pediatric and adult areas. The new patient entrance leads to a large reception area and the expedited treatment area. The 20-bed intensive care unit is built to treat a variety of complex, critically ill patients. The surgical expansion encompasses the building of two new operating rooms. Other operating rooms will be expanded in size, and new pre-operative and post-operative patient areas, along with a new family reception area, have been added. These achievements and milestones are shining examples of how St. Mary continues to be the leading medical provider in the region. Mother Mary Frances Bachman once said, I care little if I have many sisters, but it is important to me to have good and faithful sisters. Today, Several of her good and faithful sisters carry on the Order's mission at St. Mary through their work in spiritual care, the community ministries in Ben Salem, the Holistic Center, nursing, emergency services, and more. Only with your help, our generous donors, can we accomplish so much and help so many. On behalf of St. Mary Medical Center and the St. Mary Foundation, Thank you for supporting our mission, celebrating with us 40 years of serving the healthcare needs of our community, and joining us on our journey as we look towards the future together.